I mean, that's a pretty cool perspective of the moisture coming down from the rib. Looks like rain. It looks like a volcano. They felt the necessity to put a keep out sign right there. I don't want to go splash an order up either and all of a sudden, pssst, like out of a Batman movie. Gas comes flying up. That's just creepy looking. No light in sight. Hey everybody, we're back at that sketchy, sketchy mine somewhere in New Mexico where some unusual things happened in the past, the last time I was here. This is probably going to be the last time I'm going to visit this mine too because it's just really, really dangerous. So we're going to figure out where this mine goes. Once again, I have Zia Mountain Adventures, uh, Todd with me today. Also, we have on the next episode, we have Joe and special guest is Frank from Exploring Abandoned Mines on Unusual Places and he kind of has a knack for attracting weird things happening so we'll see if anything unusual will happen once again because that was just creepy just like a little recap we experienced uh, some strange noises loud boom to be exact and then some unusual lights Hello? That is friggin' creepy. Yeah, it looks like they had a pump here to suck out the water. I can see your light! Wait, he's not even there. What the heck was that? If it happened once, yeah, it's an anomaly. If it happens twice, then yeah, there's something going on. So right here is the portal. And just look at this tree. The ground gave way underneath of it, but the roots were spread out long enough to keep it going. It's alive still. So that's a bit of an ominous scene right there. So let's go ahead and get inside. All right, we're on top of the collapsed portal and we're gonna slither on down. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We gotta um, go up. This collapse, we have to go up that way to the right. Yeah, there's Frank. The bad end of Frank. <laughs> so I'm on top of the collapse, I'm making my way through. There goes Frank. Underneath this partial collapse here. Alright, so let's get down here. Look at that moldy wood. Looks like off white paint. Yeah, buddy. So I'm last into this tunnel and Frank's ahead of me. That's his light right there. Uh, Joe and Todd, they're so far down there. This is a straight shot, but they're so far down there. It's hard to even see their location. Now you can kind of see way down there if I zoom in. It's not working out too well with the low light, but yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with going through here again because this is just a straight flooded tunnel for, I think we did a half mile the last time, but we're determined to finish this one. So we're gonna make our way down and then uh, we'll pick back up a couple thousand feet in. All right, we've been walking quite a ways and I'm facing towards the portal right now. And uh, you can't even see daylight anymore. That collapse really impedes daylight coming in here. So we're gonna continue going on down this way. 
Just hearing that water sloshing in the distance underground, it sounds pretty cool. All right, we're coming across that major collapse that is rather serious and scary. You want to see what it looks like to try to fit a square peg in a round hole? This is it. Did you already go past this, Joe? No, not yet. No, you guys are just waiting for us? I'm clear. You can come on through. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hang out back here. Probably not a bad idea, huh? It's not. So while we're waiting our turn to go through that tiny little hole, let's just look at this a little bit more and then inspect it. Why did they do that? Does anybody know? Looks like they just cut some grooves in there. Maybe. I do know that this track is definitely, well, that's a bad picture, but you know, it's definitely thicker than ore cart tracks. It almost looks like railroad tracks. So they probably had a bigger mine train going through here, but we're gonna see Joe make this look easy. All right, coming through. Definitely scary. The things we do to satisfy curiosity. All right, he's through. My turn. Okay, can you? Are you able to grab this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Thank you, sir. Let's get through. Wow, look at that flowstone. It's right. a little popcorn forming too. Thank you, sir. All right, we're through collapse number one. Now, this collapse happened because obviously the wood is getting soaked and it's rotting and there's unstable rock, but it looks like it just sloughed off maybe about six feet from the cap where the, you know, the posts were and it just crushed it. Now, if this was to collapse again, we can probably still get out. I really don't want it, that to happen, but you know, that's why we went through this is because it's a calculated risk. And we took it and you know, if that did fail, this would come down, but that'd still leave us enough clearance to walk over it and go past it, so. <laughs> Now that everybody's through, let's go through this other one. Should be wearing my gloves, but I'm not. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh no, I think that one's worse than the last one. Now that I think about it. All right, I have returned to this junction. And my buddies are going down that way that hair-raising noise that I heard came down that way. And then looking back, the portal is beyond several collapses back that way. We're probably about a good 2,500 feet in. But up ahead, we're gonna keep going straight first. Let's watch our step. It's acting like an artesian well. It looks like there's some flow. Yeah, that's that. 
Yeah, the ghosts are shy on this one, Frank. I thought you were going to bring them out. <laughs> Alright, so we just came from over there. Oh yeah, it's got it's got tarpon on it. Oopsies. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So if you recall, we are dropping rocks down this humongous ore pass. Yeah. If you took that down, I believe about 250 feet. Let's see. If that's what it is. That's it. Okay, that's the connection. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, it hit water. Yeah, it's got to be it. Yep, we found it. Yeah, so 300 feet up is the connection to New Mexico's largest abandoned mine. We're underneath of it from a canyon. We're over by, a, what, one canyon? Yes, sir. We went underneath an entire mountain to get to this one spot, and it looks like they drove this tunnel just for that reason. I didn't get the ore out, maybe. This was the name of the yeah, that's exactly what it was. It's uh, yeah, let gravity do the work. So, continuing along. I also think that this is a, a water supply for that mine above us. So we're gonna follow this, this tube and this wire, see where it goes. All right, just came from that way. The boys are still hanging out down there. And I'm gonna follow this tube this twisted multicolored wire down here. Let's see where it goes. This is just like, it's thick. And there's like a rope encrusted in it now. But that's weird, so the pipe now bends up where it's off the ground and there's more of that rope and this is just looking icky whatever this is it's hard i'm not breaking through it but this is going up the electric wire yeah it goes up there not sure if you can see But there's another landing up there. And I believe that's where we found that pump switch in New Mexico's largest abandoned mine. This is kind of interesting, I think. It looks like a volcano. It's like these mineral deposits from the water dripping down is just leaving this stuff. I'm not gonna touch it because it's probably real fragile. But you can see in the middle, there's like a crater, just like a volcano. And uh, all that orange goop, it looks like lava coming down. So I thought that's pretty cool. Right ahead, there's another junction. Oh, that's roped off right there. And you just see all these pot marks, all these deposits from the minerals in the water. They're all over. There's this last branch right here. Let's see where it goes. So, Frank's coming with a shiny new H2S meter. I only have an O2 meter, but he has both an H2S and an O2 meter. And there's this little alcove where they felt the necessity to put a keep out sign right there. And it goes in like maybe 10 feet. If that, it doesn't look unstable. Is there a shaft going up in the ceiling? It, it, it doesn't look like it. You know, I'm just gonna go through it since you're... No, it just stops. But why? Is there a shaft in the floor? It doesn't look like it. It, it just looks look, like it. Yeah. They must have encountered something here. So, I don't wanna go splash an order up either and all of a sudden, pssst, like out of a Batman movie. Cats comes flying up. But we're getting into some really, really dark, dark territory here. 
Isn't that appropriate? Abandoned, keep out. Yeah, but you notice the abandoned's misspelled. Abundant. Normally when I'm walking through the mine and I'm not filming, I have my light at this level. When I'm filming, I have them pretty high, like this. And it's just swallowing up all the light. So I'm gonna go underneath this log flume ride carefully. And this is a newer operation. They got steel posts. Of course, they still have timber lagging and some of them are bowing. You can really see some pronounced bowing. It is wet in here, definitely. But the stuff is like this black shale, it looks like. And they see this orange goop. That's like the real color. It's like neon orange. But this rock. I'm going to keep it down here. Make sure I'm not stepping into an underground swimming pool here. There's some sort of growth. It like all sticks together, it's weird. See that? It's all like glob together. And then that's it. That's the end. And when it goes up the, there. Okay, now we know. But this is some dark, dark stuff. And then just, uh, I'm assuming that's iron oxide just leaching out into the water from the split bolts being installed in here. And it's just bunching up. But you can see just a flowstone action in here. It's actually forming stalactites on the, the netting. It's pretty neat. So yeah, I'm gonna head back. And we're gonna make our way out of this. This is done. I am satisfied. We are finished with this mine. And we're gonna go on and check out some more interesting places around here. So, thanks for sticking it out and uh, watch until the end. On to the next video.